uh, in, in the Madden world for, for what he brings to the table. Look out for that guy. Well, Bugs, it's time to get things out of the way. And how about getting the defending Madden Bowl champion in action, repping the Baltimore Ravens. It is Joke taking on Big George in round one. It's tournament of champions time. It's finally here. I'm shocked that he's he's starting it off, the year off, in the monster. There's The value of that before in previous years was, was the fact that you had to deal with blitzes and different things like that. But now you don't have to deal with that pressure. People aren't blitzing like that in Madden 21. It's just, it's just not – the game is just not built for that. And so I'm shocked that he's, he's kind of playing in that style to kind of mess up alignment and stuff like that because that was the main reason for, for people to come out and gun monster, mess up the alignment of the defense, uh, force them to have to set up – take a little bit, long, little bit longer to set up these defenses and, and then – audible to the offensive set that you want to set up to, and then now you got them all thrown off. So maybe that's just still the thing. He's trying to throw off the adjustments. Maybe that's the the, the game plan in Madden 21. First time tonight, let's check in with the Mudhead chat. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. 5,200, almost 5,300 in uh, the chat right now. We appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to keep trying to check in uh, for those who don't know. I'm off site right now. I have no power at my house. So I'm uh, at a very good friend of mine who has allowed me to utilize his spare bedroom. Uh, but we're running a little ragtag group right here. We're trying to keep things running. Uh, but uh, big shout out to you guys in the chat. I saw Common Sense with the sub. What's going on? Vodka 101 proof. Yeah, no power whatsoever. Um, and a uh, great point from uh, TJ. Check Mudhead Twitter if you missed the legend announcements. Go over at Mudhead on Twitter. By the way, we do uh, hints to the legends every week. We do giveaways. Uh, it's a great follow over on Twitter. If I do say so myself, it's a little pass back to the left side. Travis Kelsey can't make the catch. That's a phrase you just don't get to say too often. <laughs> oh, yeah. Travis Kelsey, I don't remember all of the abilities on regs. Um, I, I know that he has the tight end apprentice. But he has a couple other other abilities as well that I, I'd have to find out about, but I'm wondering if he has the inside the numbers because if he does, and I, I swear I thought he did have it. Somebody will have to correct me in the chat. If he does, if he has like short end elite, he, he's supposed to catch that ball because that ability right there, this year you have the the abilities are separate as far as the catching abilities and the route running abilities. So like the, the ends elites, all the different ends and outs elites, those are catching abilities. So if you want to increase the catching chances of your receiver, that's, that's what those abilities are. For those of you that are uh, wondering what how do these abilities work in Madden 21, because the abilities are completely different now. A lot of the abilities are changed. So that's how that one works. If you're looking to get them open against man coverage, you want, you want to throw that route technician on him. That means he's going to be able to run his the route tree better, and you're going to see him light up when he's doing his cuts and breaks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Bird uh, in the chat. Shout out to Jay Bird. My guy, Jay Bird in the chat says that Travis Kelsey has deep out elite. Ah, deep out elite. He's going to run those route. corner routes crispy. Yeah. So, yeah, when you throw that corner route on him, you put him on a deeper corner route, he's going to catch it as soon as he gets outside the numbers. As soon as he hits outside the numbers, you hit him, he's catching the ball. So that's how that ability works. And then the deep end elite would be you hit him deep, Inside the numbers, he catches the ball, and vice versa for all of the other ones, the short and the mids. Well, Bugs, it wouldn't be a Friday night football event. That's some giveaways, right? Like, we can't just run an event and not give some love to the chat. And uh, well, we are absolutely chocked full of giveaways tonight. We are going to be giving away one of each of the legends we announced tonight to the chat. And, Bugs, you and I asked, could, could we just do six and give two to us, and Rockets said no. So you can thank Rockets in the chat because folks and I tried to be greedy. Oh, yeah. You, you guys <laughs> definitely need to get get the thank yous to Rockets in the chat because I was pressuring them. Nick was pressuring them. Even Ant Cap was pressuring them. We were all trying to get our free card because right now these legends that are coming out are tough. I want one. I want this Dan Marino. I, I want uh, Jerry Rice. Let me get that. And so <laughs> you guys – you guys are in store for some great giveaways tonight, man. We we really get doing it doing it big tonight as far as the giveaways. And I wish I was just in the chat versus being here in in the booth. Well, books, that's not all. 
We're not just giving away the eight legends. Because of our fantastic fantastic partner tonight, Duncan, we have some Duncan gift cards to give away, and we have some uh, Xbox or PlayStation gift cards to give away. I, this may be the most giveaways I have ever seen in a single Friday night football event. Yeah, I, it's pro- I think you're right when you say that. You're right on par as far as it's just it's the most giveaways I've seen. Died up the middle. Joke is playing Ooh. games already. He's already playing games with him. He's, he's saying to Big George, oh, you want to sit in two man under? Well, I'm going to keep motioning to kind of throw off your man coverage and keep forcing your man your man coverage to misalign. Because one thing, if you're wondering why your, your man coverage is, is misaligning in, in Madden 21, one of the biggest reasons why is because they, they kind of created a, a auto man align within the game to where in previous years, you would have to do it yourself. Like you would do the baseline to kind of freeze your defense or to do the man in line. You would have to do it. Well, now when you're in man, they kind of auto man align because I know you, a lot of you guys remember last year when you were going against a run, your man would just, people would just manipulate it to, to make these runs effective. Uh, so again, guys, we got a bunch of giveaways to do, uh, as always, requirements for giveaways. Some of these are going to be keyword giveaways. When they, we do do those keyword giveaways, we will let you know what the keyword is in the chat. But as always, you got to be active in the chat, and you got to be following the channel. Hit that heart button. Make sure you're following because we got our Tyson Pro-Am coming up. we got regular Friday night football, and, and all month long, uh, we've, we're supporting uh, Duncan uh, and uh, raising some money for a great cause uh, and recognizing Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and the Duncan Joy in Childhood Foundation. So make sure you guys are here. Again, exclamation point, go gold in the chat uh, if you would like a link to their donation page and help support such a great cause. Uh, books, the part that I keep, uh, that I, I don't know, it's not that I keep forgetting about. I think it's just overlooked because we have so much going on tonight. We have new teams, we have new playbooks, we have new formations, we got a new meta. It's a completely new game we're watching tonight. Oh, yeah, it's completely new. This is that thing that we talked about in the last Friday Night Football to where it's just you don't know what you're going to see from each player. You just don't know because everybody is 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 working on a, a new scheme. Everyone's working to, to understand the game right now. You see Joke and Trips tight end. He's audible in a bunch tight end, which I think is a really great audible because it's going to be fast because they're they're both aligned the same exact way. So when you audible to one, it's just going to audible fast. Oh they man, that to the right side. And did you see the new animations? Welcome to Madden 21, boys and girls. You're Madden Bull Champ, the reigning, defending, undisputed champion of Madden 20. He's here to play for the first touchdown of the board of the Tournament of Champions. Man, that's that ability. There's mixed reviews on the ability. I'm curious to know, how does the chat feel about, uh, it's not necessarily an ability, I, I should say, but it's just a just a new feature within the game where they just, they're always reaching for the first down, that, that, just, that extension. And some people don't like it. Some people don't like the fact that they feel like, man, I, I want that tackle. I just want to just stonewall them and stop them from, on, in their tracks. Me, I kind of like the fact that they reach and just extend for that first down marker, man, because that's what they're going to do in real life. Um, and I'm not typically an advocate for everything that people will say they would do in real life, but that's one of the things I want my guys to do. Yeah, I had somebody uh, during a, a tournament earlier this week saying, like, oh, man, that's a horrible animation. I went – it was one of those where he got – it was very similar to that one. Got hit from the side, got spun around, and was reaching and got the first down. They're like, that's so unrealistic. I went, no, that's exactly how every play. If they got hit and spun like that they and they knew they were near the first down marker, it absolutely be reaching for it. Yeah, like, and that's what I want my guys to do. I want to work for hard. Now, oh. this is one of those things I'm not the biggest fan of right there. It just showcases itself right there. That throw out a sack where now they, they're trying to get the ball out of their hands when they're about to get sacked. But a lot of times when you do, when that happens, you end up, turning the ball over and you could have been throwing it to a wide open guy and you end up throwing a dice roll kind of thing kind of pick that i'm not the biggest fan of i don't know how people feel about that i'm curious to see you guys opinion on that one as well good defense right there by joke no need to throw out of that one (laughs) (laughs) yeah just just take the sack uh for me yeah it's it's really honestly when when they get super close 
you really want to keep in mind, keep that in mind now in this year's Madden. Like, man, do I really want to try to throw this ball because they're super close to me? So you really kind of think twice when, when the pressure is super close now. Huge drive here for Joke. A two-score lead could be big. Uh, Books, let, we haven't asked the question straight up. Your initial thoughts on Madden 21 haven't gotten a chance to play it over the last couple of days. How you liking the game? I like the game. I love the game. I, I, I love Madden 21. I think it's a fun game. Oh, Not man, I think he had a, that's a defense ability as well. That, that's a new addition into the game as well, the illegal contact. He he ran and kind of bumped all into the, the tight end there or the running back. I can't remember if that was a tight end or a running back. But he just ran all into him and you get that illegal contact penalty. A lot of you guys remember in the last couple of years, you've been able to kind of just bump um, receivers all the way up and down the field. Now there's a penalty for that. And so now you can't just go ahead and just illegally just bump and push uh, offensive players while you're trying to play defense to kind of just bail yourself out. Now you got to be a little bit more strategic with how you lurk. Shout out to our man TK278 gift subs in the channel. What an absolute legend. Hey, Madden, put TK in the game. Put NorCal Navy Mike in the game, the true legends of Friday Night Football. Oh, yeah. Just, just straight legends in the chat, man. Those guys are are big time dudes in the community. They're positive energy guys. They're gonna bring some some great, and they're always trying to give to the community as well. Obviously, if they're gifting subs regularly, but I know for a fact that both of those guys are always trying to give to the community and do do more and give back to the community. I got TK just moved out to. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be saying that, but he just got himself a new crib as well, man. I got I'm friends with oh, him yeah. on Facebook. I got a chance to see. It. I don't know if you saw it as well, but I got TK have a nice little crib, man. I, I, I was happy to see that for him, man. I'm always happy. It's to beautiful. See people, yeah, I'm always happy to see people get things, the things they want. Oh, I'd open over there. God. And the reason for that is the motion. Oh, the motion, and oh, right there, he did not. He did not put his he left he did not leave his man manned up. So he put his outside cornerback in a cloud. And so he was expecting like a corner out set up, something like that. And he had him low. He had him in a flat on the outside cornerback, which allowed for the outside receiver to have a free release in route breaking and joke saw it immediately and made a great read. Devin Duvernay making absolute uh, big catches for Joke, and he's got a huge play here. Fourth down and one on the five-yard line. Well, eye formation. He's going to run stretch right with Ingram. He's got good blocking, and he's into the end zone. A little Madden 20 PTSD with stretch scoring, but right there, Boogs, I'm good with it. That's where you run stretch. Yeah, that's where you want to see the stretch. You want to see it in the red zone. You want to see it in situations that actually make sense, situations that – actually matter you you don't want to see guys even though that was a fourth down some guys would even run a stretch on fourth and 25 <laughs> you, you you want to see it in situations that apply and so it's, it's always good to see that and, and this year's man you're going to see a lot of that where guys are just dotting up mixing up their play calls and then when they get into the red zone you'll see them go down to to i form tight so the world and stuff like that to try to punch it into the end zone all right, I've got the hot take of the day in chat. I'm going to read that after we do this because uh, we're going to do our first giveaway of the night. Uh, we're giving away one of each of the legends uh, tonight here in the Tournament of Champions powered by Duncan. We're going to give away our first legend. Uh, how about Merlin Olsen? Uh, I mean, add a big, powerful defensive tackle to your team. Uh, 89 strength, 88 power move, and 88 block shed books. I love seeing the balance numbers there because it shows respect that he can both defend the pass and he can defend the run. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's a guy you want on the field. You want you want Merlin Olsen to throw out there because he's a hog. You need the hogs to stop the run and also get pressure on the quarterback because you're not sending seven and eight people and closing your eyes anymore. Now you have to kind of be a little bit more strategic with how you're making your your defensive adjustments because the pressure is going to have to come from your defensive line. Again, to win any uh, to win one of those giveaways, it's just gonna be we're just doing a, a pick from the chat. Active in the chat and make sure you're following the channel. That's the heart button. 
Uh, and it is free to follow, guys. Not only will we be entered to win all of our giveaways here on uh, Friday Night Football, uh, but also uh, you'll know each and every time we go live. And that's so important because we got some great events coming up. Nick Mazesco and Bogues along with you. Are you ready for the hot take of the day? Uh-oh. Bogues, I read this, and I almost, I almost lost my mind. Uh, and I, did, I, don't, uh, I, I can't find who said it, but somebody in the chat said, Joke will not make a live event this year. Who said that? I, I don't know uh, because the chat just got rolling because we did the, uh, the giveaway. Uh, but uh, whoever it was needs to be committed to some sort of insane asylum. I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. I, I'm here to tell you that right now you're wrong. It, it, even if you're right, you're wrong. <laughs> Here's why. Joke is one Joke is tied for second, along with me and Skimbo, with the most live events in MCS history. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. So last time I checked, 12 live events. We didn't have 12 live events in Madden 20. So, and so I'm assuming that's what we're implying here, is that without Madden 20 and without having a punter at quarterback and closing your eyes and, and handing the ball off, that you know that's the only way he's going to have success. Well. I'm here to tell you you're wrong. Joke is one of the greatest players to, to ever pick up sticks. Um, so you got to put some respect on that man's name. He, he knows what he's doing. So it, it, you got you got to respect. That's that not guy. a hot he, take. He, that's a that's a ice cold player. take. Yeah, that, it, he he's go, he knows how to play Madden. He knows how to play Madden, and the re, him knowing how to play Madden is the reason why he was. He had Tressway at quarterback and handed the ball off every single play and wouldn't play defense. And, and that's knowing, with that's that knowing how to play Matt. That's knowing how knowing to play how to Matt. play Matt. Just that's just disrespectful. That's just a disrespectful take. So whoever you are and you know who you are, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should go apologize to Joe Gray. Uh, our winner of our giveaway, how about Bill fifteen eleven? Been following since uh, back in twenty nineteen. Uh, so one of the early followers here of Friday Night Football follows since March 22nd, 2019. Congratulations, Bill. 1511. You got yourself a free Marlon Olsen. Well, Exy, guess what, man? Last time I checked, there's been, what, 20 Madden live, MCS live events? Pretty much everyone that goes to a live event loses every time. Nobody has 20 or however many. <laughs> or, no, it's been 16. Yeah. Yeah, 16, right? So it's been 16 live events, right? Nobody has 16 belts. Nobody nobody even has. Skimmo has the most with three. Next him, then is Drini with two. Oh, and, and Mo. So last time I checked, everybody's losing. So uh, it happens, man. At some point, and Joe got it done. It took him a long time, but he eventually got it done. Some Some people win faster than others. That's that's it. He's got doing it again. Wow. That's how the cars work. But right now, Joke is looking good, man. He's he's really running this yeah. trips tight end, and it's trips tight end is very effective against the man defense. So if you're looking for an offense right now to really be able to expose the man coverage meta, an offense like this is is going to be super valuable for you. Our guy in the chat, one of the good friends, uh, King Glorious, asking, how is the franchise mode in 21? Is it any good this year and any changes? Hey, King Glorious, did you like the Madden 20 franchise mode? If you did, then you're going to like Madden 21. And take advantage of the personnel grouping as well. The personnel is super, super, super valuable here. If Joe could have snapped it a long time ago, I promise you he would have because right now what he's doing, <laughs> he's he's – He's pulling out some scum tactics right now. I won't lie to you. Some super scum tactics, but it is what it is. Oh, he has a tight end the wide tight open. End up he's the wide open. Oh, my that, God. He was, he was naked. He was naked. That is one of, one of Joke's uh, flaws is that he, he isn't the best passer. He, he isn't the best at making reads on a down-to-down -down basis. But – He's still a great Madden player, nonetheless. But that's one that's one of his shortcomings right there when it comes to Madden. He missed the touchdown. So if he ends up getting stopped in this situation, that's going to hurt him big time. 
Outside of the pocket on third nine. Good defense. Good bag down the field by Pete George. He needed that badly. And Joke, going to kick a field goal. If there's one thing I think people are noticing about Madden 21, the kicking is not easy. Yeah, because of the, the it feels I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't know if it's lag or if it's designed that way to f- kind of feel like almost uh it's it's not designed that way. <laughs> it's not designed that way. Yeah, I don't know if it's designed to feel unpredictable like that, but it'll definitely just like the, the meter and the speed will change a little bit and it'll feel kind of laggy when you're hitting it, hitting the uh the accuracy. I don't know. It, it doesn't always work out that well. I missed a, a kick today to win the game. I ice kicked. I was scared to kick it as well because of the, the lag on the kicks. And I definitely butchered that kick. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Big shout out once again to our sponsor here, the Tournament of Champions, and a uh, uh, sponsor for the next couple of weeks uh, while we're raising money for uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, uh, Duncan. Big shout out to Doug for coming on board. Man, Boogs, this is an exciting time. We have the Navy Pro-Am. We got Duncan on board. We got Tyson on board. The sponsors are loving Friday Night Football. Uh, and, and it just feels great to have more uh, people outside of the Madden sphere getting involved with Friday Night Football. Yeah, it, it, it's, it makes uh, Madden just feel that much better when, when you have – People like Duncan becoming a part of the family. People like Tyson becoming a part of the Friday Night Football family. And then, honestly, it's all because of you guys. And I really want this to be the greatest year ever for, for Friday Night Football. I want us to have a great year. He's taking advantage of Tyreek over the oh, top. Oh, he got him. He's got, he didn't work on the last play, but if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Big George stays alive with a huge touchdown to Tyreek the free kill. Man, that... That safety is just not fast enough to get over there to Tyreek, man. Tyreek, he just breaks the game. He's too, he's just too good. He's been too good for the last three years. He's just too fast for his own good. He just, he's just too fast for his own good. And he's too good as well because not only is he fast, but he's actually good. He can run some routes, so he has a higher rating. He's actually putting in work in real life, which is making his ratings go out the roof. He's not just a speed guy. Um, with with low ratings, like he's fast with route running, which it just makes him a demon to have to deal with. How about big shout out, books? Gotta love seeing the stuff in the chat. Merc Squad Gaming says four months tumor free. Hashtag never give up. That is great to hear, my friend. Let's go, man. man that's great that's, to hear. That's man. awesome. <laughs> Isaac Marks, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Look at the left side. He's got Hollywood Brown. He's got wheels inside the 20. Try to hit him with a little stop and go. Uh, he just stopped, though, down to the 20-yard line. Yeah, I, I think he he might have been able to outrun him there. Um, but right now, you see Joke. He has a, the two, two running backs in so that he can audible down to sets like I form close, I form uh, slot, like he just did right there and call stretch and just walk. He's Almost playing the game smart. Down. Yeah. He's playing the game smart right now, Nick. He's he's using an offense that's really, really hard to guard, really hard to stop. And he has a, a personnel grouping that makes it to where it's really it's really not even wise to be in a, a dollar or a dime or one four six or anything like that. Because if you run those against him, then he can audible to this I form and really just destroy you. First down and goal for Joke, utilizing this entire play clock down to three, down to two. He's going to run a little die this time. Mark Ingram trying to find some room. Good defense in the middle by Big George, needing a stop. But more importantly, you look up at that clock, and it is tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, the clock is just ticking away. Joke is a great manager of the clock. This is one of the things that that makes him great. This is one of the things that, that takes – him to the next level and sets him apart from the rest of the pack. The fact that he manages the clock well, he's a super smart Madden player, and he manages the time better than most. Um, and he, it was no way he was snapping the ball there. He's going to make sure he takes as much time off the clock as possible in this situation because he's in full control of the game, and he knows that time is not 
Big George's best friend right now. I got Rusta bust in the chat. Four's up in the chat because we're going to the fourth quarter. That's a touchdown for Joe. He might have just put this game out of reach with that play. Slammer in the chat. What is going on, Slammer? Good to see you, my friend. Merc Squad saying nothing is better than competitive Madden. I could not agree more. And there's nothing better than competitive Madden on a brand new game. It just feels like a fresh start. It feels like you've been working out in the yard. You've been grinding. You've been uh, pulling those weeds, mowing the lawn. You come in. And you take that cold shower and you get ready to go for the evening. It's just a fresh start. Yeah, it, that it really is. It's just something special, man. When we can, when we can just switch over and and just get to a new game, man. This is 